Well, there may soon be a big payday for some local politicians in Sacramento County. That's right, Curtis. And tomorrow, the elected leaders are set to vote on a pay increase for themselves. Tonight, we're getting answers on just how much that could cost and reaction from community members. I'm uh, going to call this meeting of the Sacramento County Board of Supervisors to order. The five members of the Sacramento County Board of Supervisors are considering giving themselves a raise, but many people in the community have concerns. I'm actually stunned. No, they definitely don't need it. <laughs> the county hired a consultant to perform a salary survey and found that Sacramento supervisors are paid significantly less than their peers based on an average of 11 other California counties. But the counties they looked at included high cost of living areas like San Francisco, Alameda, and Contra Costa. It did not include Placer, El Dorado, or Yolo, counties which are next to Sacramento. It makes sense to compare Sacramento County's cost of living to a comparable county with a similar cost of living. Not we're down here and here's the Bay Area. According to the report, Sacramento's board members make a base salary of just over $123,000. The recommendation is to give them a 20% raise. I think they really need to reconsider that. And I don't think they deserve a 20% raise. Homeless advocate Bob Erlenbush says elected officials should not be allowed to vote on giving themselves a raise, and he would prefer their salaries be set by an independent commission, which is what the city of Sacramento does. It was seen to me like a conflict of interest. And others think any race should be based on their performance. I think they really need to re-examine what's going on in the community, if they seriously have done anything better with housing costs, with food costs, with the homeless crisis, all three strikes, no. Now today we reached out to the supervisors, but we're unable to get any of them to comment. If passed, the new raises would cost an extra $173,000 a year and would take effect in June.